real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Savannah Maria Garcia is a trans woman and an activist in the LGBTQ community. But she had a rough upbringing that included a life of drugs and prostitution. Savannah claimed she promoted the defendant's product on social media and never got paid. So she's suing. Defendant Rodney Roussel admits he hired Savannah to promote his cosmetic line on social media, but says instead she dragged his name and his products through the mud. He's countersuing for an airline ticket and emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. I am a trans woman, a trans activist that has been through so much. I've been on drugs. I've been on prostituting. I've been homeless, going in and out of cars, back and forth, back and forth. And, you know, me being an internet sensational, I get all these deals and all these promises that they want me to promote these for them. So I met MC Shaky Rodney. What do you mean by sensation? Give me a little more insight on your sensationalism. My sensationalism is more entertaining the LGBT community when people are going down, like they're going through something, I get on the live, go crazy, do different things, have different shows. I um, I live seeing or I just be me. Okay. And how many followers you have? Um, a million followers because I'm that princess. I'm the El Paso princess. All right. All right. And what were you saying about uh, your upbringing? You were saying you had a uh, troubled youth or a troubled upbringing? Tell me about that. My parents didn't accept me. They, I left, and I just, you know, I went to live in the streets. When I went and lived in the streets, I had, I had nowhere to go. I had nothing to eat. Once I started prostituting, I was dating clients, husbands, baby daddies, uncles, nephews, whatever, to um, give me a hotel room. And the only way I can get that way is, you know, getting high. So how did you get past that? How did you overcome it? I overcame it by breaking down and asking God for forgiveness and asking him, is it a, another way that I could go? I went to ask for resources and everyone helped me and got me housing. And I went to rehab. And after I went to rehab, I got off the drugs. How long ago was that? That was about that was about three years ago, because I was off coke I was off cocaine off and on. And I wanted to go out there and show everybody my experience of the younger generation don't have to live like this. So I went out, got people tested, um, gave out food, and, you know, told them my story. I was on reality TV, and I went on there and asked the food when I was supposed to be a trans activist, and I got so much backlash from that. Not just carrying myself like a trans woman supposed to. If you have a million followers, you have a responsibility to influence them in a way that will help them enhance their lives. Well, speaking of that, when I went to go have my sex change, I documented it. Okay. And there, a lot of people was asking me how and what and what's going on. You put that yes. on your social media? Yes. Great. Great. Yes. Great. And you got a good response? Uh, I, had got a, were... I got a good response. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. All right. Well, your defendant here, playing grand. You know I know that. I know a grand when I see grand. Yes. 
Certainly, Your Honor, you are in the presence of greatness. I am Rodney MC Shaky Roussel. I am the darling of New Orleans, Louisiana, and the belle of social media. And when it comes to social media influence, I am like the mother, the godmother of it. She's just like a little somebody's here. Now, everybody has a side story. I was in prison for nine years and one month. That's 3,316 days. But I came home and I turned my life around as well. Savannah has been given opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, chance after chance after chance to do something with herself. And I was a fan of Savannah at one point in time, but I am just over it. And it's just like, it's not just her not giving the LGBT community something to look up to. It's just like how many opportunities and chances are we supposed to give her to make of something herself. I was one of those chances and I thoroughly, thoroughly regret it. It not only cost me money, it cost my brand, it cost my name. My, I have been drugged through the mud from her. So I don't feel sorry for her. I don't have no empathy or sympathy for her because at the end of the day, we all have to have the problems and we also all have had the opportunities. She just chose to squander hers. Sounds like she has done something. She got a million followers. She says she has detailed her uh, experience with sex reassignment surgery. She detailed that so that others could embrace it. You don't know how many lives she's changed. You don't know one way or the other. Your Honor, you're absolutely correct. I don't know how many, the extent of lives she's changed, but I can tell you one life she has changed. Mine. <laughs> At the end of the day, Savannah has made me... Well, the worst, this. right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Don't go away. There's more Judge Mathis after this. Plaintiff Savannah Maria Garcia was hired to promote the defendant's cosmetic line on social media. But the defendant says instead she dragged his name and his products through the mud. Go ahead. I know she thinks she Halle Berry and she sounded like Barry White and her shoulders strong like Barry Sanders. But at the end of the day, we are really, she's really giving us too, too much. At the end of the day, she changed my life because I have so much distrust for that community now since meeting Savannah Marie Garcia. It has literally been the worst decision of my life. My brand, I, if I don't sell my products, Your Honor, I don't eat. And she has tried to put, and through the last few months, she has made sure to drag my name, my company, my brand through the mud. How can I, how can she say she's uplifting the LGBTQ plus community when she's trying to take one of its stark and most admired myself members down? I can see how you would be the subject of some admiration. I'm impressed. I'm impressed and amused and amused. Fan going. And entertained. <laughs> so as I should be. Yeah, as, as, as I know. should be. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. So there you have it. Now, how can you resent a community that you're a member of just because one did you wrong? Don't paint an entire community bad because of one scoundrel. If she's a scoundrel, I'm sorry. I don't mean that you believe she's a scoundrel. No, Your Honor, you're 100% right. She is 100% a scoundrel. I don't um, believe it. Let me find out. What has happened here? Because I don't believe it. Your Honor, you see um, you see convict and hoodlum like MC Shaky, BBW Shaky, um, with nail, press on nail, foundation, eyelashes. Just a, press on. Just a, just a microwave cross-dresser. And then they think they could come for the trans community. That's why the LGBTQ community don't get along now. We're in competition and everything. He want to transition, but he can't because he don't, don't have the formula. She's lying. Look, I don't, don't want to transition. His, his shoulders is hard, the back is wide, and he look like he needs to be on the football team playing wild receiver. You are my nose tackle. Right I mean, are you serious? serious? Where is your neck? I only see oh. the shoulders and the head. Well, rich girls don't have necks. I just want to be with you. <laughs> Y'all need to stop all this. I was letting you go. Tell me why you're suing. We became friends, and as me, as being a social media entertainer, I had so many followers. We made a, a deal where I, I promote his bonnets and his products, and also he gave me a line where I had my own product. And we had a deal where I would be paid $250. Um, I would have to pay, I would have to post every week, four times a week, and I would get my coin. I did not get no coin, nothing. We met in Vegas. When we met in Vegas, our agreement was to him to drive for me, with me back to LA. I called, I called him. Um, and said, I'm leaving Vegas or whatever. What's up? What's the thing? He was like, oh, okay. Okay, but I'm like, you okay? He said, yeah, I'm okay. 
So after that, um, he called back like five minutes. Oh, I checked the flight, and the flight is three hundred and something dollars. And I, I'm, I don't get on coach. I'm first class. And I was like, okay, that's right. I, <laughs> that's I, right. Well, exactly, Your Honor. Well, but, but you're not okay, Your Honor. If me being a generous person, I am. He he's supposed to be that queen, that fab girl, that Damn. rich girl. But where was your coins to get your first class? Even if you didn't go drive in my car, you're supposed to have your coin to go. That wasn't my responsibility, Savannah. That was your responsibility. Can I please talk? That was your responsibility. So what is the breach of contract that you are suing 3,000 for? Because we made an agreement from January 20 to January 21, and I'm doing promotions and stuff, and I didn't get it. A whole year? A whole year. Your Honor, you should see how he be trying to read me and do all that. Let's take a look. Oh, they reported to ugly I would have reported to an ugly So the was an ugly I don't know if they out there. They got to be ugly You black and that mother black. They got to be ugly. They got to be Like if you go out there, for real, for real, for real, for real. Somebody's scrolling up on your if somebody's just scrolling up and they accidentally come to so accidentally come to your page, baby, it's a super one five dollars. Guys, don't you lie to me. You ready for television yeah. now? Oh, thank you, sir. I, I don't know agree. why you would show me that. You were worse than than he was. And that's who it was representing. Why did you show me that? that was, you, was showed, represent- you were the worst on there. She yeah, because, because your Pennies, honor, she's representing your the LGBT community and my brand with underwear on her head. Oh my God. Can you just imagine what I am as a business person and I am as a high upstanding member of the LGBTQ plus community and to watch someone who is, uh, who is, I represent and represents me walk around. That I wasn't underwear like- on her head. Was, was that up? No. <laughs> no, your honor. And you talking about I was worse than him. That's why when I got home from Vegas, I went on li- I went on live and I burnt why all you his say products. underwear on I her head. All- I don't, it don't matter. No. Because I burnt the bonnet. The bonnet oh, that the I was bonnet. Promoted, I burnt I it. I burnt it. Stay tuned. The case continues after this. Plaintiff Savannah Maria Garcia was hired to promote the defendant's cosmetic line on social media. But the defendant says instead she dragged his name and his products through the mud. Let me hear from you on the emotional distress. The, the emotional distress, me depressed, me not getting my coins, me promoting, and I'm sure I have a big follower and my people who's buying his, uh, his products. He's a criminal. Of course I'm not going to get my money. And well, I How does that I cause should... you emotional distress? That's just another client that hasn't paid you. Because I worked hard. I spent my earned right. money. I work hard. I worked hard for promotion. Let me hear uh, your side of what happened with the contract. I offered her an opportunity that I had not offered to anyone else. Not only did I go to her to promote my products that I already had, I also offered her a chance to have her own product on my line, as well as I offered to give her for the promotion of all of my products and being kind of like a brand ambassador, $250 a month for four posts across social media. And she would get that regardless of anything sold or not. Um, and that's in the contract on. Now that things. sounds like it needs to be enforced. Why wouldn't I enforce that 250, whether there's results or not? Because she didn't do anything. She did not did. post a single Post. I don't part of the contract. That. I don't believe of, that. She wouldn't, lie, come in here asking, lie, she wouldn't come in here asking for payment for the entire year and never post it one. She didn't she mentioned it in her live streams, but as far as her posting, yes. there is not evidence of any I did I've all never her seen a post. I've heard people say she mentioned it. I've never seen yeah, her. No, actually we're talking physically. posts. Was the agreement for you to post? Your Honor, I post on my story. I post on Facebook. I post on the G. Every all of my platforms, I post. Do you have one post today? 
just one. Why, why would I have one, why would I have one post and I, I I'm not I'm not dealing with him no more. I I burnt the bonnet. I wasn't getting no coin. So why would it's, I keep his products up here? And he's a, a big defendant, a criminal, and he was not going to give me my money. Truthfully speaking, Your Honor, her page was deleted. She go on these drug laden binges. And Instagram would require it to be taken down. The whole page, yes. Instagram would take down the whole page. You are too much. I have, I have. And it was it was a part of, I thought it was a part of my character getting on live, sniffing coke, getting naked. Jeez. And it was a part of, of my character. <laughs> You're right, you have embarrassed your community. <laughs> Thank you, you are her. I didn't know oh, you sure. were doing that type of mess. I was, it, it was the drug talking to me. So what I was on the, it was the drug. I, I would hit my bag and toot toot season my nose. And then I was like, <laughs> press live. And then I get all these 20K viewers at one time. And I'll just be on You are naked. betraying your blessing. And I better tell, I'm going to tell you, you better be careful. You know, one of the reasons I tell my story consistently and don't mind that people say, okay, we didn't heard that before, because everybody hadn't heard it. And there's still some folks out there who can be influenced and inspired by it. And if I stop talking about it, you know what's going to happen to me? I'm going to get hit by a Mack truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel. <laughs> I did so much bad that I feel unless I continue to do God's work of redeeming and inspiring other people to change their life, he's going to say, all oh, that stuff you did. That's it. And you think you're just going <laughs> to get a couple of dollars and have fun and live the good life? Oh, no, I'll take all that. In fact, let me send this Mack truck. It ain't going to be, it ain't going to be <laughs> slow. I'm going to make this immediate. <laughs> And let me hear your counterclaim for 5000 from her for airline ticket and emotional distress. She says that it sounds legitimate that she could not ride back with you because of the mess you had just started. But you describe what happened, and perhaps uh, the, the, I got be, it wrong. Be, 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 because, Your Honor, when, I, when he first came to my hotel room, we, I walked in the wrong hotel room. He immediately Hi. got on live. I ran, I, ran, I, ran, I ran from the 43rd floor to the first floor in Vegas, and he sat there and got in my room and got on live and said I was high, I'm going to stuff You were, and, you were, you were, you were oh, okay. If you run 43 uh, floors, <laughs> you know you are high. You know, and it had to be I, some good cocaine. I that was straight to, out of Peru. Without breaking a sweat, Your Honor, I was literally <laughs> so scared. In Vegas, we had happy times. We were there. And so she was like, you know what? We This is her idea. She was like, you know what? Let's just drive back. We could be like Thelma and Louise, and we can have this wonderful, wonderful little time. So even when I'm planning my trip to Vegas, I was 100% relying on her to get me from Vegas to LA. She starts to flip out. She gets high or something. And, and then she got into it with me um, about the money. She kept saying something about money. The next thing I know, she's calling me saying, I left already. I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? And she's like, well, I left already. I'm, I'm going to be in LA. Stay tuned. The verdict next. And coming up, a Judge Mathis DNA case. That doesn't sound like a, a hostile enough argument, ma'am, for you to leave. That doesn't sound I, hostile but, enough. But, but, some, did anybody threaten each other? Did anybody your threaten honor, violence? Your Honor, your, your Honor. Yes. He was, he was with another person, and they was talking about how small my car was, and my seat can go back, and he was too big for my car. Why would he plan a, a trip with me to Vegas anyway? Then you, you already know I was doing coke and I was off dope. Why would you even plan a trip for me? That whatever was the case, whatever the case, ma'am, it wasn't. A, I don't hear enough hostility. I don't hear danger. I'm, I don't One hear danger. When I hear danger, then that then I'm convinced that people need to stay separated despite the consequence. He was disrespectful. He was disrespectful. Your Honor, like he, she like, also, like he said, Your Honor, can like I show the said, video? 
of how much pain, because it, it's it's to the extent of the pain and suffering that she has caused me. I've lost sales. I've lost other endorsement. I've lost the brand deal. Okay, I've what video so do you want to show me? I want to show the video um of the of her destroying my bonnet, which is the video of her. This is my brand. This is what I've built for all these years since I've been out of prison and put my blood, sweat, and tears into. And this is what she's done. Start the video, folks. This for the man. In and online. You did this for the public to see. I saw it. Look at that emerald green barn. Look at it, My ground. Brain. What up with the wrong? Look at that whole barn. I ain't done yet. I just started, cuz. I just started. I'm finna throw them products out. You need to leave them drugs alone because I have no <laughs> I idea why same. you why you would come in here to this courtroom. You've admitted to a drug problem that destroyed your life. You are you play a video for me where you are doing nothing but cursing. Then I see this. You know this was going to come out. Your claim is dismissed. Yours is granted $5,000 for you. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you so much, Judge Man. Thank you, you're 100% right. You try to play the game and lose, Miss Mama. Shut you try up, to play the game up, and lose. Shut up, you wide back, green animal looking punk.